And on the second day of his visit to Washington, D.C., Pope Francis delivered key messages during his address to Congress and spent the afternoon among the masses as he blessed a lunch for the homeless community in D.C. Telesur correspondent Bianca Perez has been following his historic tour. She's got the details. As Pope Francis delivered his message before Congress and to key governmental figures, a celebration took place outside of the Capitol where hundreds gathered to thank the pontiff for bringing the message of environmental awareness to the United States. Climate change is increasing. It's um, affecting people all over the world. And um, that my future is directly at stake. So there's not really an option for whether or not I get involved. Or Along with the initiative of climate change, organizations representing other social issues joined in on the celebration. His Holiness addressed key issues such as an end to war, poverty and discrimination, as well as how religion should never be used as an excuse to cause harm. Members of various organizations believe that the Pope's message applies to all, not only the government. We should work together to eliminate poverty, to eliminate, to eliminate homelessness. And it's not only you know, the, the, the politicians, but uh, all of us have to be part of the solution. After his meeting with Congress, the Pope headed to a lunch organized by the Catholic Charities of the Archdiocese of Washington, D.C., where the homeless community and members of the church received a blessing from the pontiff. He would rather be with people that are here that are in need and that he can, he's demonstrating to them that there's an opportunity for anyone to, to walk along with people that really believe in them. So I think that's the message he was trying to get to them and, it, and in turn it gets to us to be more supportive of others in our lives. The first part of the Pope's work agenda culminated in Washington, D.C. as he boarded his plane at Air Force Base Andrews. He was sent off by Secretary of State John Kerry and proclaimed his famous phrase, pray for me. Bianca Perez, Telesur, Washington, D.C.